do you need a CFO as your business grows or the current accounting services that you are actually getting from an accountant is sufficient? Hi, my name is Molen Mukuzi. I'm the managing director of Brainmore Accountants as well as Anchor Point Advisory. We are accountants for business growth. Someone might ask, what do you mean? Because we actually partner with businesses, helping them achieve financial strength through top line growth as well as increasing their bottom line. In this video today, I'll focus on the difference between an accountant and a CFO and why your business needs both of them. Okay, for a continual reminder of the content that enables you to grow your business, like and subscribe and share this video. There's a significant distinction between a chief financial officer or chief value officer as they are normally called now and a general accountant. When it comes to scaling your business, it is very, very critical for you to understand the significant difference. It's actually also important to know that most accountants primarily focus on reporting of the past performance and also they focus on the resolution of tax related concerns that you might have and the day-to-day -day record keeping of your company's transactional activities. They are responsible for ensuring that the company's tax is computed correctly and is submitted on time and they are also for monitoring the company's compliance with different uh, regulators, for example, SARS, Department of Labor, ETC. Accountants typically perform the following tasks. One, they do the basic reporting. That is your normal profit and loss and balance sheet reporting for your past months. They also do management reporting on, uh, on quarterly basis for you to make decisions. They also do tax filing for your tax return, payroll processing, and also bank reconciliation and the compilation of financial statements at the year end. Yes, accountants, depending on their level of qualification and skills, can identify potential areas of concentration for the business's future. But I repeat, depending on their level of qualification, but in most cases, they are not necessarily exposed to the other aspects that could influence the company's future strategies. The position of the CFO or chief value officer, on the other hand, is one of strategic. That is, they are concerned with the future of the company. The future, the emphasis is not necessarily based on the corporate performance, but also on the ability to think strategically on how to achieve the future goals. When the CFO considers the direction in which the organization is moving, this is actually an example of forward thinking. What is the company's plan for getting there? They go deeper into that. Is the organization prepared to make the transition from a, being a small company to a, a, a medium company? What are the procedures, processes, controls, and mechanisms that are required to get there? Despite the qualifications, these are the characteristics and abilities that distinguish chief financial officer from a general accountant. CFOs usually manage the following aspects of the organization. They are heavily involved in business planning or business development, which is the business strategy. They establish the business KPIs and measure them. They do the cash flow or manage the cash flow management of the business, reporting and focused on the pipeline, budgeting and also financial modeling. They also get involved in product mis mixing as well as the commercialization of the products, reporting to the business stakeholders as well. They provide advice or, or to the board of directors or the executive of the organization. In a nutshell, the CFO is an enabler of the business growth and success. In this video, I'm going to actually answer a couple of questions that you might actually have right now. So stay with me. You might be wondering about the following things. First, you might be asking, isn't the position of the CFO reserved for those large corporations? For the big companies. I'm going to answer these specific questions with a double question. First of all, are you in business to grow your business? Are you aiming for the growth in order to become more significant? If you answer the yes to these questions, this suggests that CFO services are required to startups, SMEs, and large enterprises on an equal basis. Someone can say, when should I consider then hiring a chief financial officer or a CFO? If you want to take your business to the next level, or if you want to scale your business, now is the time to invest in a chief financial officer. You better be prepared for the changes that are coming in your industry. You better be ready 
for the growth of your business and to put things in order. Someone could say, what happens if I can't afford a full-time CFO? It's okay. You don't necessarily uh, need a full-time CFO. You need a CFO services. This can be on a part-time basis or virtual. And you do not necessarily need to break a bank. But you can't afford not to have a chief value officer as you scale your business. Someone might say, I already have an accountant who is taking care of my financial records, who is doing my bookkeeping. Do I really need the services of a CFO? In this video, I clearly stated the distinction between a chief financial officer and an accountant and the, uh, and the roles that they both perform. You unquestionably require one if you have an outsourced accountant for you to know if these accountants are going to perform the duties of a CFO, you should review your agreements with the outsourced accountants. If it doesn't cover the functions of a CFO in the manner I outlined in this video, you do not have a CFO. You only have an accountant. It is preferable to obtain one, whether full-time or part-time. Someone might say, my CFO is recently qualified. I recently engaged one on a full-time basis and has recently completed his or her articles or her accounting training. Your question might be, is he going to assume the responsibility of a CFO? In some cases, you might actually need to invest in the CFO training for your new chief financial officer. Typically, your CFO is in the process of moving from being a technical grinder to being a strategic thinker. So training aid and guide him or head through the process of shifting gears. Therefore, to get great value, prepare him or her for the job. But congratulations if that's your position right now. Okay, just to wrap up what we discussed in this video, we spoke about the difference between a chief financial officer and an accountant and the complementary role that they both perform within an organization. Remember I said accountants, general accountants, normally focuses mainly on the past while CFOs concentrate on the future. For you not to miss out on all future content to help your business grow, manage your finances, subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much. See you soon. Bye.